Hi, I'm Willie. Welcome to my channel. Thank you for being here. I appreciate each and every one of you. If you need IT consulting, go down to willyhow.com, fill out that contact form, and someone will be in touch with you as soon as possible. What we're going to talk about today is a problem that has existed for a long time. Uh, I think as far back as last year, we've seen this problem. Okay, what's the problem, right? Something old, something new, something blue, something... I don't know how the saying goes, but anyway... Uh, what what the problem is, is creating an L2TP IPsec VPN on a self-hosted UniFi or a cloud key uh, UniFi installation. And the problem is uh, that the, the VPN just doesn't work. So what's the fix? And this is not an IPsec site to site. This is an L2TP IPsec like Road Warrior VPN, right? For your remote users. So the problem is this beautiful new interface that everybody seems to love. Uh, just verified this last week within the last seven days. Today is August 31st, 2021. And within the last seven days, we fixed two of these. And if you create the L2TP IPsec uh, VPN with the new uh, interface, it doesn't work. So what's the fix? Well, if you've got a brand new site, the fix is to come in and turn on the classic settings and then create your VPN. Now, if you already have a site and it's fully populated, what do you do? In that case, what you're going to do is you're actually going to create a new site. You're going to go to that site and you can see, look at this cloud keys freaking out. Uh, you're going to go to the new site. can see all kinds of weird issues with this cloud key because I added that site. But what you're going to do is you're going to create a new site. You're going to come in, you're going to disable that new interface. Then you're going to uh, create your L2TP. Then what you're going to do is you're going to go to your existing site. Well, and back up even further. So what you have to do is you have to recreate all of the settings in your site. Uh, we haven't been brave enough to try to just uh, export and import. It may work. It may also just reproduce the issue, right? So in a lot of the inst instances and most of the ones that we've had, it's easier to just recreate the networks, recreate the Wi-Fi networks, the wireless networks, all that from scratch, and then migrate. So come into your devices and move the devices from the old site to the new site, and then everything will work. The, the, just make sure you have the classic interface enabled before you create that. And like I said, I verified it on the latest general release, two of them in the last seven days. So if you've got any questions about this, put it down um, in the comments. I'll try to answer any of those. If you need help fixing this, you can reach out at willyhow.com. And if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. Please subscribe. Please comment and share. Please follow me on Twitter, Instagram, and TikTok. Those links are down below. If you'd like to support the channel by using our Patreon or Amazon or any of our other affiliate links, don't feel obligated to do that, but it is appreciated and they are down below. They don't change your price, but they do kick a couple bucks to the channel. If you need that IT consulting, reach out at willyhow.com, fill out the contact form, and someone will be in touch with you as soon as possible. Once again, I'm Willie. I appreciate each and every one of you. And as always, I'll see you in the next video.